Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. This is the 1075% difficulty playthrough. Uh, this is uh, this episode's on a special day, just as a fill-in, so uh, we'll be back to the usual schedule next week. Now, uh, last time around, had a little bit of a setback or three because of bad planning. I let my uh, lasers freeze, and that meant that uh, I didn't have the uh, resources to block the meteor storm that landed right on top of the colony. Yeah, not helpful that. And ran out of machine parts because of, you know, planning. And uh, we have an electrostatic dust storm that has just scrubbed through a fair chunk of our electronics. On the upside, we're researching terraforming subsidies, which will eventually get us to... Uh, let's move the clock along will eventually get us to uh, getting replenishing our supplies enough. And we've got our, uh, our uh, uh, passenger uh, capacity expansions for our rocket. So we'll be able to bring 42 colonists when we bring our one and only passenger rocket in. So, yeah, uh, there's uh, progress, but uh, also setbacks. Now, uh, we're two-thirds of the way, almost, for terraforming subsidies. Uh, now, terraforming subsidies is two billion... Um, uh, one billion funding. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, one billion funding will, uh, will help. Uh, and I need to get 3D machining sorted out. Oh, I can take sustained workload out of there. Uh, we'll get 3D machining, then deep scanning, so we can find some more uh, anomalies. And uh, and then I'm going to do Drone Hub. Uh, now I'm doing Drone Hub because uh, uh, I want to be able to build those things <laughs> uh, when I need them. Now there's, there's something uh, that, uh, while we're waiting for things to happen, uh, you see, that's why you want to have your uh, lasers, right? Uh, that was going to hit the dome and uh, the laser just took it out, right? Uh, so yeah, uh, that's that's exactly uh, what should have happened last time around, but I let this, the things freeze in the cold wave. Yeah, not very smart that, and I got unlucky and the meteor storm landed on the colony instead of elsewhere on the map, right? Okay, so uh, we lost a drone commander in the meteor storm. Uh, we lost a bunch of drones I had a prefab for a uh, drone hub. I chucked that up, so you know, as a way to replenish the drones. And uh, yeah, uh, now up here we've got three more sectors for scanning. When those complete, we'll get a boost of research from a milestone, and that will put us over the top on terraforming subsidies. When I get terraforming subsidies, I'm going to pop up, pop back to Earth, and I'm going to grab. Uh, as many uh, machine parts as I can and, and uh, I'm going to grab also some electronics uh, because I'm going to need the electronics to run the machine parts factory and uh, I'm going to need uh, um, I'm going to need the machine parts to build the electronics and, and everything okay yeah uh, so it's kind of a uh, chicken and egg right uh, anyway uh, we're we're not doing too badly, really, considering how uh, uh, how much of a dunderhead move I made last time around. Uh, so yeah, now uh, that would have been uh, the uh, the game, really, uh, if that had struck at the wrong time. But as it is, uh, I hadn't yet brought the passengers. If I hadn't been researching compact passenger module, I would have, and uh, that that would have run out of resources, and that would have been the death spiral for the colony. Uh, now I'm probably going to need to uh, chuck up a uh, rare metals extractor actually over here uh, to uh, and and start and send some of that stuff home so I can build up uh, resource supplies. Uh, right now, the rocket here is um, fueled. Uh, 
So I could send a load of that back relatively quickly. Now, what does it take to build a uh, rare metals extractor? Uh, rare metals extractor needs four machine parts. Yeah, so it's expensive. Uh, okay, that's one more. Uh, okay, neither of these should have an anomaly. So, yeah, so we're, we're getting low on these as well. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, really, uh, I just need to get resources in and, uh, I'll do that, uh, as soon as I can, but let's, um, let's go into the research here because we can also do, um, what is it? Uh, uh, Martian patents. Yes. So we can chuck Martian patents up there and it's 3,300. So if I chuck Martian patents up there about four times, and then I chuck terraforming subsidies back up to the top. Yeah, I think I think I need to do that. Uh, yeah, because that's a repeating tech and it gives you cash each time. It just gets more expensive every time. Uh, and uh, quite frankly, um, I really need to need to get the cash together, so I'll do that. Uh, now I could actually just let this sit here and run the way it is with no resources for uh, long enough for the natural uh, science to uh, accumulate uh, up through there. But if I do that, I've got inflation on resor or on uh, on prices back on Earth. So it's going to it, it's going to be a losing game if I do that. What I really need to do is get my. Uh, 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 get my colony producing the stuff I need. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll eventually get there. Oh, we're three quarters done now on terraforming subsidies. As soon as I can, I'm going to call in a machine parts and I think I'll grab, uh, I think I'll be able to grab five electronics and, uh, 15 machine parts or 10 machine parts for sure. Uh, I have supply pods, so I'll call them in on supply pods. Uh, right. I, I have free supply pods. Right. So I'll, I'll call them in on that. Now we have lots of metal that we're picking up from the surface of the planet right now. And there's a fair bit of uh, polymers uh, also that has been on the surface. Now I'll be able to build a polymer uh, factory relatively soon. Once I get my the rest of my colony stabilized, right? Um, what I can do uh, is, uh, while I'm waiting, I can go in here and I can build a stack of solar panels somewhere. I don't know. I'll build them, build them over here. Uh, one, two... Yep, and then uh, I'm just going to build a stack of them, and then I'm going to build a reasonably large stack of power accumulators as well. Uh, is if I do this, and then a large stack of power accumulators, then uh, I'll have uh, I'll have a good uh, I'll ha have a much better uh, power situation here. So power accumulator. Okay, these take two polymers, two concrete. Four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, that's probably enough. And uh, uh, power cable. Um, I just need to run a power cable over. There we go. Uh, so that should get me. Uh, 
that should get me a lot more stored power uh, and that will uh, that will help immensely uh, because these neither of these need machine parts for maintenance and uh, that's kind of what I'm going for there so uh, and we have enough polymers to and polymers are the easiest uh, thing to produce uh, you just need water and uh, you just need water and electricity uh, and uh, some machine parts to run the uh, fuel refineries and the polymer thing and of course all, of course the um, uh, staff to run it you know now how many, this takes uh, six yeah um, I'm gonna need two of those I'm sure I'll turn that one off no I'll, I'll turn that one on and I'll turn that ranch off that one on I turned the dome off didn't I yeah I turned the dome off uh, right. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll do that. Yep, that's good. Um, 89%. Uh, we have one final sector is two-thirds scanned. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that'll get us, put us over the top, uh, shortly, I think. Uh, yeah, it'll put us over the top before the uh, research gets us there. Uh, yeah, and then I can get some stuff straightened out. Yeah, that'll be good. I'm hoping that uh, this episode will be enough to get me straightened out. And then next episode, I'll be able to bring the colonists in. Uh, because I want to take the time during the break uh, be, between episodes to select the colonists because that's going to take a long time and it's probably going to be boring well maybe no maybe i'll put that on screen as well yeah yeah i'll, I'll show it uh but that will be uh, a fair chunk of an episode is just selecting colonists and uh, getting things out yeah okay here's terraforming subsidies um so everything is scanned we've got nothing to scan until we get deep scanning uh, and Martian patents are at 61% already. Now let's uh, head up to Earth, we'll grab a supply pod. Now if we grab one of those, two of those, one of those, one of those. Yeah, okay, that's about how I, I want to, uh, that's about how I want to do that. Yeah, okay, launch. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll get, uh, we'll have 15 of them, and we'll get 10 more electronics, and that will allow us to operate for a bit. And then after uh, after the uh, Martian patents uh, it goes through, we'll be able to uh, uh, grab a bunch more uh, machine parts and some more electronics as well. Uh, right, okay, so far so good. Now, power, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be storing quite a lot of power now. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that sorts that out. Okay, when this arrives, I can dump it down, get a few metals out of it, and uh, a whole bunch of stuff will just launch into action. Three buildings not working. Yeah, of course they're not working. No people. Uh, right. Four, five, yeah. Okay, it's uh, it's here. You land there. Okay, in it comes, and poof. And then you salvage. Okay. Uh, yeah, so for the cost of a supply pod, you get five metals. And uh, in the uh, and that doesn't inflate. So if you were short on metals and you had lots of cash, uh, you could get uh, yeah. See here we go. Our uh, water extractor is uh, going back online. I can bring these back online. Uh, this is completed. Yep. Good. 
what am I uh, making here? Goose is 45 and 4 sols. Uh, turkey is 60 and 5 sols. That's 12 per sol. Chicken is... One sol for five food. Two sols for fifteen. That's seven and a half for rabbit. Goose is uh, four into. That's eleven in four sols. Eleven, yeah. Turkey is five sols. Um, yeah, we'll go with turkey. Uh, we'll also go with turkey there. No. No, we'll, we'll do that over here. Goose. Um, do I want to... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, what I want to do is... I think I'll try turkey on both of them. So that'll give me 24. Yeah, that should be enough food, barely. Um, what I'm going to need, actually, that I haven't actually built... Oh, in here. Is uh, storage for food. Yeah. Food. Put a food depot there. Uh, four buildings not working. Two ranches, a diner, and an infirmary. Yes. Uh, right. Okay, so uh, we've got some resources here. Uh, I need more before I call the passengers, though. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, now let's go in here and we'll requeue deep scanning. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, I've pretty much, uh, you know, made, ignored my uh, previous uh, plans on uh, how I was going to. Uh, how I was going to uh, run things here, but uh, landscaping, uh, I think, I think I need to put a, uh, a ramp through here. Uh, yeah, if I put a ramp through there, it may not be such a bad idea. Uh, we'll take the RC commander, bring it down there. Um, yep. That means I can shortcut across there, uh, and that's, uh, vaguely useful. So, uh, yeah, as otherwise you have to go a really long way around. And this looks flat, but it isn't. A rover can't get through there. Uh, I know that from experience. I tried it. Um, at least I'm pretty sure a rover can't get through there. So we'll just make a ramp between there and uh, be done with it. Whoops. Right. 92% uh, Martian patents. Uh, yep. Uh, that After the uh, that Martian patents, I'll go in and I'll queue up the uh, machine parts factory because that's uh, that's an important uh, bit of infrastructure to be able to build. Um, but uh, after I, uh, I build the, uh, I get the next supply of, of machine parts and electronics, I'll uh, also uh, um, what needs it? Okay, I should uh, rebuild the concrete extractor. Right. Um, good. 
Good. Right. Um, what was I saying? Once I bring the uh, resources in, uh, I can po I can possibly bring a prefab in and uh, amplify. What does that take? Yeah, we'll amplify it. Now these guys don't amplify. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so far so good. Now, uh, where are we? Uh, we got Martian patents are complete. Okay, we'll go uh, go onto Earth here. Supply pod. Uh, one, two, three, four, and one. Yep. Launch. Okay, that gets uh, that gets that. Now we'll uh, just go in here. We'll queue up 3D machining. Yep, good. Uh, and we'll run uh, Martian patents a couple more, t three more times, and uh, that will get us uh, some more potential resources uh, or some prefabs. I think I'll bring resources. Uh, Another stack of uh, machine parts and a uh, stack of uh, of electronics, I think. Uh, right. Oh, right. I can close that. Close that. Buildings destroyed. Um, I could rebuild those. I'm going to, actually. Yep. And the Sterling Generator. Hmm. No. I'm just going to get rid of it. Because that's expensive to rebuild. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so that'll uh, get us uh, back to our... Uh, yeah. So our three souls uh, warning. A meteor storm. Uh, that might be good, actually. Uh, we might get some research anomalies out of it. Uh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. Um, yeah, so that that could be that could be really good, but it's quite a way off. Uh, but we will uh, drop this down. Uh, yep, and then you. Good. Uh, so now uh, we're not so bad off for uh, resources. Uh, but I'm definitely going to need to bring in more of these. So, uh, I think the next uh, next su supply pod is going to be weighted toward those. Right. Well, that's uh, some sort of progress, anyway. 12% uh, here. Yeah. I'll be uh, bringing in... Uh, I probably should actually... Mm. Yeah, see, if I can bring in some genius colonists, if there are any... Um, I've got everything set up so that I can bring in colonists now. Yeah. If I amplify this, you know what? I think maybe I should bring, I should call the passenger rocket. Well, what I'm going to do, save the game. And it's going to be a new save game, YT2, and it's going to be pre-colonists. Uh, now, the reason I'm doing this is so that uh, if this goes sideways, we can try again from here without the first dozen episodes having to repeat. Okay. Um, resupply. Passenger rocket. Okay. Filter. Uh, age group. We don't want middle-aged. Uh, 
Adults, fine. Uh, and youth is fine. Okay. Apply. Uh, then we'll go uh, filter. Uh, flaws. We don't want, uh, we don't want glutton. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Apply. Now, uh, perks. Genius we want. There, no geniuses are available. Celebrity's okay. We got one celebrity. Um, rugged. Uh, no comfort. Uh, right. Survivor. Yeah, if we put that in and rugged oh we we want the sexies as well um and the fit ones we kind of want uh right workaholics Okay, well, we'll apply that. Now, if we go look at the filter. Um, okay, flaws, quirks. What quirks do we have? We don't want tourists. What if we nix the vegans? Okay. Um yeah uh, apply okay so we still have 42 here um good now uh filter uh do we have uh perks we still have the celebrity uh, okay. Okay. Celebrities give you uh, uh, money every uh, every uh, soul. Uh, okay. Now we don't have to worry about. Okay. What we want is. Uh, Uh, okay, we want the youths, um, but what we want is an even mix of male and female. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to tally. Uh, okay, so Emma Collins, Survivor Fit. Wait, can I go in here? And, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, actually, uh, age group. Adult. Apply. We got 24 of these. Okay. So we've got uh, female, female, let's lock all of the youths. Okay, now if we go back into filter, age group, uh, we'll allow adult, apply. Okay, Owen Carter is celebrity. Uh, yeah, we'll take Owen Carter. Um, okay, Owen Carter is, no, we'll go up here, uh, 
female, female, no, female, male, 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 male. Male, female, male, 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 female, female, female. Yeah, this is going to be slightly tedious. Female. Female, 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 male, female, male, okay, ten, twenty two. Female, female. Okay. Yeah, it looks like those were balanced. Um, Owen Carter is male. Okay, female. Male. Male. Female, male, female, female, Okay, so we have, if my tally's right, we have 18 males and 25 females. 18 males and 25 females. That doesn't tally. Anyway, uh, we've got too many females. Okay. Yeah, okay, you... Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, take you out. Uh, let's, uh, let's look for a male. A male survivor might be good. Okay. Uh, I think I need to take, yeah, several more females out. Um... Take that one out, that one out. And that one out. Now we'll find some males. Baldrick, no. Uh. Hmm. Well, that'll do. What did... What? No. Um... 
Barney. Barney Murphy. A nerd. Okay. Uh, Axel. He's a loner. Um, yeah, we'll grab him too. Uh, okay. Well, that's 42. And I think it's reasonably balanced. I'm not going to spend more time fiddling with that. And launch. Okay, we have called our passenger rocket. And we're going to have a celebrity on board. So that will be fun. It will take a while for the rocket to arrive. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a two sol uh, breed on that one. Uh, two two sols, five sols, and here I'm going to do a couple of one sols and uh, five saw. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do there. Um, right. Uh, okay, we got a meteor storm in, in one and uh, one and two-thirds souls. Um, okay. Uh, we are 20% through another round of Martian patents. And I'm going to uh, land my uh, colonists in the next part. Is, uh, we're uh, going on 40 minutes here. So uh, I'm going to... Uh, basically, I'm going to call it a part. We're going to have our meteor storm and our uh, colonists arriving in the next part. And uh, yeah, so that should be a great deal of uh, excitement. And I do mean a great deal. Uh, we can leave our rocket in orbit for a while before landing it. So, uh, so I'll, I'll probably end up taking advantage of that to call in more resources or something like that. Now, uh, just uh, as a point on the rules that have been selected, we cannot import food from Earth. Cannot. So uh, that is a uh, point that needs to be uh, kept in mind. Okay, uh, we cannot import food from Earth. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, that's going to play into the gameplay. But uh, I'm going to uh, put the cut here. Uh, so I'm going to pause that. Uh, so the cut's here. Uh, that's going to be it for this time. So uh, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you back next time at the usual scheduled time.